What's going on everybody? Kind of like the weekly vlog, kind of wrapped into one. There might be a second part to this video, I'm not too sure yet. Um, I was up in Pennsylvania Monday through, actually today, which is Friday. Just got back in and picked stuff up from the post office, PSA, yada, yada, yada. So I'll give you guys, uh, we guys we'll go start left to right. So, oh, okay, there we go. Was in a break, had the penguins, dirt sheep, and... Um, Parkhurst Champions. Got a purring plate. Too bad it was Jeff Carter, right? And these little jukebox heroes. I'll probably grade the Malkin and stuff onto it. Or Malkin, the Crosby, Malkin, and uh, McKinnon. A little WWE action. Tie-dye. Stone Cold Steve Austin. PSA 10. First year, I believe, a select. You guys remember me hitting this? Came in the mail. Finest Idols Bronze Holland. That's got to be redeemed. Uh, two out of three. Yaz Auto. Jack Lambert out of ten auto from Contenders. Pretty cool. Olave. Uh, PSA 10. Uh, 25. This came back home to me out of 20. Bobby Witt Jr. Flawless. Sorry, I know because the plastic kind of screws it up. I'm going to try and move some of this stuff over without knocking over everything I have out. Yes, stuff's still out from the monster, I know. Somebody's going to say it in the comments. I literally came home from the monster Saturday, got that video done Sunday, and I left out of here Monday at like, I think it was like 4 a.m. How about a Ted Williams autograph check, PSA 9. They graded the check. Insane. I've seen other ones with examples like this, so I have an idea what it does. But just a cool piece. Cool piece. Okay, make sure to follow. PSA, I only had six cards. This was more somebody else's order. I tagged some in. Fleer Hardball. These are hard to get tens in, but poo hauls. Black and white checkerboard. CD Lamb. SP Authentic Jason Taylor Auto from 99. Got a 9. Kind of surprised. I, I was anywhere between 8 and a 10 on it, but I was pretty much um, had bloodshot eyes during that time frame. And that's just because of staring at cards. I got a Wemby Fractal Vortex PSA 10. Bedard Dazzlers PSA 10. I think this is the one that does 170 ish. Ish. And then finally, the Mojo James Wood got 10. So not bad overall. A lot of new stuff. Um, I ha It feels so weird. I haven't touched sports cards since Sunday when I did the video. Um, went up, like I said, to Pennsylvania. I had to drop off some stuff. There was a sale up there while I was up there. Had to pick stuff up that I bought from somebody up there as well, too. On the, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, on the other side of Pittsburgh. He met me over at the mall though. So it was a lot of work. I tried to go by a card shop. And it was called Mears Cards. M-E-A-R-S. No. Hours of operation anywhere in the internet I could find. Facebook, Yelp, whatever. Tried calling their phone number. And it goes to a guy's <laughs> cell phone. It's like, hey man, it's Tyler. I think it's what he said. Leave a message or something like that. No hours, no nothing. So I just gave up on it. I was going to go up to the one that was in Westmoreland Mall, but I just stayed away. They put that casino in up there, so. But stay tuned. I should have about seven, eight other cards here I'm working. They came back from PSA I'm buying off of somebody. Nothing real crazy. It'll be a lot of stuff that will either go in the showcase or go off to the Miraculous Com C. Speaking of Com C, has anybody ever done a drop off at a show with them? Out of curiosity, I did a drop off lab been a week now with the Midwest Monster, and they still haven't put in a system. Just curious if it takes them like a month to get. Heck, if I had known that, I'd just mail it to them for eight dollars and some cents. They had already been in the system and started, you know. All right, guys, stay tuned. There should be a little bit more of this video. Promise it'll be longer vlog that's that youtube influencer talk i know um uh type videos coming out for you guys 
All right, stand by. I should have one little part left to this video. What's going on, guys? I believe this is part two of the video. I know, I know. I've been slacking, slacking, slacking. Uh, recently, I was up in Pennsylvania. Um, I did a little selling, a little buying up there. And while I was up there, I ended up uh, getting my mom's house uh, fixed up, ready to be for sale. So i just been very, very busy on that aspect to try to get her house uh, on the market, which it is now, as of this past Tuesday. Um, probably my last time up to Pennsylvania in a very, for a very, 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 very long time, unless the Pittsburgh Penguins make it to like a Stanley Cup or something like that. But I did have some stuff in the mail. I already sorted through a lot of it just because I didn't want to show you guys a lot of jubba. But I will be coming out of the video. I want to talk more in depth um, with the latest card show, the Midwest Monster. Nothing about the show in particular. I want to start talking about. There's there's just a lot of talk with guys setting booths up, buying um, strategic locations at these big card shows where they're getting all this uh, action there where the other room isn't. But I can tell you for a fact, it's not true. I had a lot of people come up to me selling cards. And I mean, from what I sold in the beginning of that show until the end, I was moving stuff as I was buying it. So I'm going to come out to a video onto that because I think there's a lot of speculation that's just, it's not completely true. So be tuned for that. All right. This is from GB Sports. Back him. First auto. Has a little divot above his head. Otherwise, I was going to grade it. This is my very first GV. Look right there. GV Sports Card Sticker. I want to grade this, but I don't want to take it off the sticker. So I got to get another sticker. Uh, another card stickered up that I'm not going to grade. But this is, uh, I believe it was out of, yeah, 99. Blue's out of 99. Another Beckham. Back-to-back -back cases, huh? And he was doing free packs. <laughs> boom, boom. Dale Earnhardt out of five from the Penny National packs. Don't know what it's worth. I mean, I'm sure it has to be, you know, somewhere 20 to $50. Maybe more. I don't know. Not a boom, boom guy. This came back to me. I uh, got rid of it. Now I'll come back again. And finally, out of 10 from Tier 1 Ichiro. Pretty cool piece. Pretty cool piece. But that was like the highlights of it all. If you guys look up here, there was a bunch of stuff that was from the breaks and stuff. That'll be going to Com C. But I'm slowly, <clears throat> excuse me, getting back into the whole card rhythm piece of it all. I've been doing a few things on, uh, what do you call it, Com C. Uh, just started actually moving some of the cards now from the show because I literally did the two days in Indianapolis, came home Saturday night. Sunday I had to get everything ready, grass cut and all this stuff because I left out Monday for Pennsylvania. And there was one, two, three. Well, if you don't, if you count me dropping off a card for a buddy of mine, four different people I had to see during that time frame, um, some bought some of my cards off me, some of my Jordans. Um, I picked up two different Crosby autos. Those are already outgrading. Sorry. I meant to put those on a video, but with like such short time frames, I've been hopping and popping right now. Slacking the old uh, YouTube piece of it all. And then I literally came back that Friday, had to unload my car. Um, you know, stuff had to get clean before it comes into the house. It, it was just a long, long weekend, and now I'm just, like, starting to get back into being normal again to where I'm back into my regular routine. But be able to look at, like I said, I want to talk about this because a lot of people are, you know, talking about repackers paying 110%. It, it's not 110 There are some repackers, and I'm going to talk about this in the video, that do pay 100%, but that's because it's their chase card. The rest of the stuff they might pay anywhere from 80 to 95 percent, depending on how good it is. But we're going to talk about that because I think there's a lot of myths going around out there, and I can tell you firsthand what I've seen and what I know, and what I've talked with other dealers at the show about as well too. So hopefully it'll help clear a little bit of the air up. Be on the lookout with that there. I might even go live. We might just bring back Extreme Overtime and talk about this. I'm debating on it. Um, if I fill up to it tomorrow night. I will do it. If not, we'll probably look and try to shoot the following Friday night 
I might go live talking about some of this stuff. Because like I said, I think there's a lot of myths out there and people are buying into it. And the information is being misconstrued from what I'm seeing out there. Alright, that's it guys. Appreciate it as always. See you guys next video.